Good afternoon, student. Uh, today we will be seeing the listing of uh, threatened biodiversity, how it is done, <clears throat> and who does it. As you can uh, see here, there is a T diagram given. So uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a T-diagram given all species uh, that are being evaluated uh, and not evaluated. We will go uh, in further details, who does it? Uh, <clears throat> the IOCN red list of threatened species that is also called as the IOCN red list, one of the most uh, well-known objective of assessment system for classification for the uh, status of plants, animals, and other organisms threatened with uh, extinction. The IUCN stands for International Union for Conservation of Nature. I have also given you the website for uh, IUCN. You can see on this slide. The assessment system in 1994, it uh, contains expert, uh, the assessment system was, IUCN was given in 1994. It contains explicit criteria and categories to classify the conservation status of an individual species uh, on the basis of their uh, probability of extinction. The IOCN system uses a set of five contradictory criteria to assess the extinction uh, risk of given species. In general, uh, these criteria considers uh, the rate of population decline. How does, uh, how does it uh, decline? The geographic range, the ge geographic range of the given species to which extent they they are uh, available. Uh, whether the species already possess a, a small population size before evaluation, whether the species is very small or live in a restricted area, whether the result <clears throat> of the quantity indicates a high probability of extinction in the wild. Uh, after given species have been uh, thoroughly evaluated, uh, it is placed into several categories accordingly. Uh, in addition to these, the three categories which are uh, you can see uh, here that are vulnerable, endangered, and critically endangered that are uh, considered under the threatened categories. The uh, the red, uh, red list of threatened uh, species recognize several categories uh, of the species, uh, like status uh, extinct, uh, designated by EX, uh, designation applied to species in which the last individual has died or whether uh, a systematic and time appropriate survey has been unable to log even a single individual. That is considered as an extinct category. Extinct in wild, uh, that is uh, the notation is EW. A category which is containing those species whose members survive only in captivity or in artificial support population far outside from the geographic range where they existed. Means like uh, they are only present in zoos or uh, they have been, what do you say, domesticated like uh, they are being breeded as pets and all that are they, that cannot be so simply that cannot be found in wild that is known as extinct in wild a critical endangered uh, critical endangered uh, the cr stands for critical endangered this also comes under the threatened category this comes under the threatened category a uh, category containing those species that possess an extremely high risk uh, of extinction as a result of population decline of 80 percent to more than 90 uh, percent over the previous uh, means uh, data is collected from the previous 10 years or uh, called as the three generations and the current population uh, size is taken that is being considered 50 individuals or less 
the endangered species en en stands for endangered species this is also the uh, criteria that comes on the threatened species uh, designation applied to the species that possess a very high risk of extinction as a result of a rapid population decline of 50 to more than 70 percent over the previous 10 years uh, as already uh, told in critical injured a current population size of fewer than 250 individuals or other factors are also involved. Uh, VU, that stands for uh, vulnerability, uh, vulnerable. This also can, uh, comes under the threatened category. The category, they, uh, those species that possess a very high risk of extinction as a result of rapid population decline of 30% to more than 50% over the previous three generations, means that is uh, 10 years and currently population size of fewer than 1000 individuals is considered to be vulnerable. The uh, other criteria that is a uh, near threatened NT, that is a designation applied to species that are close to becoming threatened, it uh, close to becoming threatened category like vulnerable and or critically. Uh, critically endangered. They are near to it. So that is uh, called as near threatened. That, that can be, uh, that can be, uh, that can come under uh, threatened in near future. Uh, another category is least concern. Uh, it is designated by LC, a category con containing species that are uh, pervasive and abundant after careful assessment, means their uh, population is not threatened. They are in abundant number and found in uh, major geographic regions that are uh, considered as least concerned. Data deficient is another uh, criteria. This condition applied to species in which the amount of available data related to its risk and uh, existence is lacking in some way. The consequently and complete assessment cannot be confirmed. Thus, unlike uh, the other categories in the list, this category does not describe the conservation status of a species. It is just data deficient, which data is not available or uh, till date. So that is, uh, they are called as data deficient. Not evaluated is the category in which includes uh, of the nearly 1.9 million species described in science, but they are not assessed by, uh, treated by IUCN. That's why they are, uh, uh, comes under non-evaluated. Uh, uh, a species that is experienced uh, some about 90% decline over the 10 years of generation, for example, would be classified as a Critical end. Likewise, other species undergoing a 50% decline over the same period would be classified as endangered. And the one expected to 30% reduction over the uh, same time frame would be considered as vulnerable. It is important to understand, however, that a species cannot be classified by using one criteria alone. It is uh, essential for the scientists and the workers that are doing assessment to consider all these five criteria when determining the status of a species. Uh, each year, thousands of scientists around the world and uh, other scientific workers assess or reassess this uh, species population. Uh, the IUCN red list is subsequently uh, updated with new data, with new assessment. They have been checked for accuracy with, uh, with other workers also. In this way, the information helps to provide a continual uh, upgradation that keeps a spotlight on the stage of this world, uh, world at risk, tarns, animals, and other organisms also. As a result, uh, interested part parties like in such a national government and conservation organization may use this information provided by the I IUCN Red List to priority their uh, species protection effort. This IUCN Red List shows us where and what action needed to be taken to save this uh, saving these building blocks of nature from extinction. It provides a straightforward way to factor biodiversity needed to decision-making processes by the uh, providing a well of useful information on species that have been uh, nearly threatened or endangered. 
so this uh, information is provided by IUCN. You can uh, go through the website uh, given in the year, and you can check it. I already given the website. This is the uh, website www.iucn.org. You can visit this and uh, check what are this. You can also check for the red list, uh, formerly known as the red data book of species. Now it is called as the red list. Uh, the red list contains all these uh, threatened categories, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, and all plant species, animal species, and everything. You can uh, go through this website. Okay, in next lecture, we will see the further part of this.